Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shems, aka Shamelia, aka Shemazoto, aka Shemreal, aka Shemstar, aka Shem the Great. I mean, no one's ever called me that, but I call myself that. So why not? Why not? It's a nickname. It's a nickname. Okay. Alright, cool. So today I'm gonna be doing um a book review slash recommendation slash letting you guys know what i'm reading have read or going to read cool let's get into it all right so the first book that i'm going to be showing you guys is slay in your lane so this book is by yomi and elizabeth i i'm not going to attempt to pronounce their surnames because i don't know how to pronounce them but um, you will see when you look it up and basically this book is about the um, let's say um, the black woman experience so what it's like to be in the UK um, growing up as a black woman the odds against us but also how you can overcome those odds um, how to ignore them how to still be yourself be true to who you are and embrace your blackness this is literally what this book is about and um funny enough this book is what inspired me to do my dissertation piece when i was um doing my acting undergrad um yeah i studied ba acting and um i took a lot of um reference and inspiration from this book so yeah it was really good it's a really good read and yeah hope you guys enjoy that one the uh, next book that i'm gonna recommend is they come in the morning voices of resistance so this book is about um angela davis's incarceration and basically takes you through that journey um of what she went through what she experienced and what other black women um did could um potentially experience as well so that's that so the next book I'm going to show you is this little book here called The Bible Promise Book. I don't know if that's focusing, but yeah. Um, the Bible Promise Book. And this book isn't necessarily have like an author, but um, it's obviously by um, Jesse Fiorito. Fiorito. Sounds Italian. Don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. This is um, basically a book um, with 500 scriptures um, under different um, topics. So if you wanted to look at a topic about obedience or salvation or love, compassion, comfort, um, yeah, just all of those things, like um, even if like, let me give an example, let me give an example. Anxiety, that's even another one. I know people go through, um, um, at moments in their life where they feel really anxious or if somebody actually does suffer with anxiety this is a book that gives you scriptures because the bible talks about everything do you know what i mean the bible talks about different situations that i know anyone watching this video can relate to so this is really good um especially if you want to do um like quiet time so let's say the winds of the spirit um lead you to the topic of obedience and god wants you to study about that bam this book can help you out gets you right there gets you right there so this is good um obviously on the on the book itself it says 500 scriptures to bless a woman's heart but man them if you want the book you can get it too man you can get it too you can bless your heart the bible blesses everyone's heart man or woman child or man you know cool so this book um it's called the making of a prophet so basically um this is a book that i'm currently reading um yeah i'm almost finished it in fact yeah i'm getting there so basically this book is about the ministry of prophecy if you've if it's been confirmed to you by god and by um spiritual leaders that um you are a prophet um or if you are curious about operating in the uh, ministry of prophecy then this is the book for you it basically talks about how um what it is to be a prophet, what it is to operate in this ministry and um, also talking about like um, your heart posture, where your heart posture has to be, the type of mindset that you have to have. Um, it has scriptures to link in and back it up. So any point that's made in the book, like it's backed by scripture. So, you know, it's um, not nonsense being spoken. It's not off someone's own um like flipping mind you know what i mean and the author is jennifer leclerc um she's a prophet and um yeah she's taught she's very um big very very big um 
so yeah it's a really good read um so far and yeah so anyone interested in that can do your fine the next book i've got to prepare for this one because this this author oh i'm excited i'm excited all right bam it's happening by who william mcdowell one of one of the most renowned worship leaders one of the best best artists i can't lie his music i bang out probably every day um absolutely love the guy um so yeah he is um he's written this book and it's just basically about i don't know if any of you guys are familiar with william mcdowell if you know about um if you know about his albums sounds of revival and the cry when you listen to those al um those albums and you hear the songs you realize basically this book describes what he's saying in his music so um it's just about how revival is happening now it's not um it's not unknown miracles are happening around the world not only just in his church but around the world people are getting healed people um are rising up to what god called them to be and it's just basically evidence of that god is real god is moving at a significant rate um, I know a lot of people have been feeling it. There's been a lot of prophecies about, um, you know, God like really like moving it on the earth right now. So um, it's actually a really good read. I'm currently reading this. Um, I've read um, about six chapters. So yeah, I'm actually absolutely loving it. And it also teaches as well. Of course, it's going to teach because yeah, he's he's um, he also preaches. So yeah, um, it's really really good. Sorry had to just reach for the last book that i'm gonna show you guys <laughs> bam so this is a book that i'm going to read so it's by the same woman who they, um, did the book um the making of a prophet and basically this is called becoming a next level prophet and um this one from what i've gathered um it's basically taking you to the next steps cool so you know you're a prophet you've read the making you know what it takes to become a prophet yeah now is the next steps the practical steps what do you do um dig deeper into your heart posture like what are your what are the things that you struggle with can you communicate with god do you listen to god are you obedient you know all of these things basically um when you look when i look at the um chapters the name the title of the chapters i see it um let me give an example mm. uh -uh. where is the i i i what is introduction wait two hours later okay cool so examples are your prophetic prophetic gifting the making of a prophet obedience willingness humility selflessness prayer warfare holiness faithfulness ap apostolic accountability so it goes in deep i could already tell this book is a good read because it's thicker than the making um this is obviously the making is more about molding you now okay cool you're being molded you're at you're at a stage you're hearing more things from god you're getting prophecies you're giving prophecies da -da 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 -da. okay cool bam this is the book for your next step um yeah so that's the last book um i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna be doing more of these um more of these um, recommendations in terms of books because i'm a bookworm i like to read and obviously i'm getting back into reading because there was a period of time where i just stopped reading books so i'm definitely getting back into it and i'm expanding my literature and yeah so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment share and subscribe especially your support is really really appreciated um thank you to the people that have already been supporting me sharing my stuff um thank you for helping me kickstart my journey and i hope to see you next time see you later